Okay, so I finally got access to the Marvel Rivals beta. Um, I used Microsoft Edge, worked 90% perfectly fine. But yeah, so I want to do a tier list before I play any games. I spent about two hours in the practice range, whatever you call it. Don't take any of this too seriously. This is both my idea and before I've even played full games as them. I don't really know how to grade these people yet. Like, I just... This is basically just S is the people I want to play and I enjoyed trying out. A is, I thought they were solid, but there was a few things that kind of made me just not too excited to play them. B is pretty boring and C is I just genuinely don't want to play them. So first up we have the tanks and Hulk is first. I'm going to put Hulk in B. I didn't think he was too bad, especially with the jump movement ability. But yeah, I don't think he's too bad. He's not great, especially for the melee characters. He wasn't one of my favorites. But yeah, I just don't think there's anything too crazy about him. And then also being in B, he's a little bit too hard to play. So this is kind of, I'm basically anticipating uh, how I'm going to feel about these characters. So S, it's like, I already like them. I already want to play them. A is, you know, I'll give them out. I'll, I'll give them a try a little bit later. B is not really looking too forward to trying to figure out how to play them. I don't know. Hulk doesn't seem too great. Seems pretty hard to play or at least do well. Um, but at least he's a tank. So, you know, he's he's tanky. So then Venom. I know Venom's new, but I had a lot of fun playing him. He was super easy to get damage with. You know, he I, the only thing I don't like is the grapple, but I just like him overall so much that I do want to keep him an S. But yeah, he's just very fun overall. It's going to be a little bit hard to get used to his uh, uh, attack. It's kind of I feel like I miss I mess up my aim watching it. And then there's like the you hold people down for a little bit. That one's pretty cool. A lot of these abilities in this game are very unique that I like Overwatch wouldn't even try. But yeah, I, I loved playing. I loved trying out Venom in the practice range. And I do look forward to playing him when I play tank. So next is Magneto. I'm pretty sure Magneto is like the best tank from the from the alpha test, if I remember correctly. Maybe not the best, but I think maybe the most played. At least from what I saw, that's what I assumed. And I didn't watch too much because I was salty. I do like his attacks. I like it's It's got a lot of range, but I'm trying to think. Uh, Magneto's like he shoots the thing after a certain amount of time. That seems pretty cool. It's a little lackluster in damage, but I'd imagine the combo is pretty nice. Um, he's got the shield, which makes sense. A lot of characters have the slow fall, which is, you know, whatever. His ult was pretty cool. I'm pretty sure. I think that's why I kind of put him up in A, because otherwise I would have would have had him a little bit lower. But yeah, Magneto was pretty cool. I guess there's no roll queue. I don't know. I haven't played a game yet. I, I've been waiting to play a game. I guess you could probably have two tanks. So, you know, if I can't play Venom, I'll play Magneto. Um, On to Doctor Strange. Now, Doctor Strange is a little strange. I don't want to put him in B, because he's much better than Hulk. I might have to rearrange this a little bit. He's much better than Hulk. Obviously, his teleporter thing's really cool. His attack is pretty unique with the dark magic and the stuff you can do with that. So, you know, that's 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 cool enough. He's got a shield too. But the one thing I didn't like was his ultimate. It just didn't feel that great. I, I guess against real players, it's going to be different. But I just, I don't really see how it's going to be that great and that fun to use. So... He will be very low A tier, maybe down to B if I rearrange. Um, Groot. So I'm actually going to rearrange and we're going to do this. Doctor Strange is going to be the highest B. It's just his ultimate I just didn't like enough. And the dark magic is, it, it kind of, you know, it's not something I'm, I'm too thrilled about trying out. The other stuff seems pretty cool. And then his alt just doesn't, doesn't, you know, doesn't sit right with me. Groot, I honestly don't like Groot at all. His attack's fine. But his walls, I guess I'd have to play it with teammates. That would probably make a difference. But in the practice range, his walls seem very lackluster and kind of just in the way a little bit. His spore bombs, whatever, and his ult. His ult's actually pretty cool, so just nothing too great. Penny Parker. I think I'd put her... No, I think I'd put her behind Magneto. Magneto's ult's pretty cool. Just the power you feel while playing him, I think, will give him the edge over Penny Parker. She's a little confusing, but I think I got the gist of her webs with the uh, the one web that you place is like a speed boost and maybe a damage boost or something. And you got the big spider web with... Uh, with the little with the little spider spawner that thing just doesn't break i guess um from my testing it just sat there uh it took a little bit to get an understanding of the mines but they're proximity mines so not too bad uh her shot is obviously infinite but you know it's, it's an infinite shot so it's nothing too crazy uh i don't really get her ultimate uh i don't know if i'm supposed to click left and right click as i do stuff or just run through i don't know I kind of just spam it and just hope something happens. Her grapple thing to the webs is pretty cool. So I can see some interesting stuff like shooting up on a wall and attaching and 
going over something or getting high ground or doing whatever. Uh, she seems pretty cool, but I think Magneto is going to feel a little bit more powerful. And then on to our DPS. I loved playing Punisher. Just the second I tried him out, he seemed super cool. Um, the assault rifle is very good. The shotgun's very good. The smoke screen is all right. Shoot the smoke and you can see people through it. So that's pretty cool. The ultimate's really cool. I can see myself using the AR at range and then switching to shotgun, maybe for a tank or close range. A very fun character. Not the DPS I want to try. I'll get to that later. But he's definitely my number two. I'll put him behind Venom. Gila. Gila I actually liked. I can't remember if people thought she was broken or if she was just very good, but like harder to play or something like that. I can't remember, but she seems pretty cool. I'd probably put her above, I'll put her above Penny Parker, but behind Magneto because I don't like her crow ability. It, it, I mean, it just seems kind of weird. Nothing, to, it's nothing too crazy. I'm just not a fan of it, but everything else about her is pretty cool. Her alt is kind of weird, but it's, you know, pretty solid. So I'll put her above Penny Parker, but I think Magneto will be cooler. Magic, and this is why I moved stuff around because I didn't think Magic and some other characters should be on the same tier as Hulk. But Magic, I'd say I, I'll put Magic above Doctor Strange because I think Magic will be more fun to try. But I don't think she'll be as easy. But I think she'll definitely be cool if I can get the hang of it. And it doesn't seem too hard for her and Black Panther don't seem too hard for their melee combos and stuff. But yeah, she seems pretty cool. Uh, coming out of her portal, it's a little hard to kind of get used to which ability you want to do. If you want to do the demon or the, or the spinny slash. Um, but I like her uppercut. But yeah, I think she's pretty fun. She does pretty good damage. Uh, and if you hit the combos right, you know. So that's pretty much the hardest part is hitting the combos. But she's definitely not as easy to play as the characters above her. And I think I'll have more fun just, you know, getting some easy games in. Um, and then with that, Spider-Man's similar, but... I just don't really like some of his web mechanics. The slingshots in this game the with uh, Venom and him are really confusing, kind of hard to get a hang of. I do like that he has the web slinger thing for a ranged attack. That definitely feels nice. But his attacks just feel weak, a little bit weaker than the others, which, I mean, maybe it's comp compensated by the speed and some of the other stuff, but he's just not really my favorite. I don't really see myself playing him too much. I should probably put him behind Doctor Strange because I do see myself playing Doctor Strange. Scarlet Witch. Scarlet Witch is a... I'd honestly put her behind. She seems very easy to play, very fun. I think just for the fact that she's so simple, I won't play her more than these three. Or at least I don't think I'll enjoy playing her as much. But her abilities are pretty cool. Her ult is pretty fun. She was pretty fun. I don't really get the shield thing, her little bubble. It's a force field. I guess it'd be different when there's actually enemies running around, but Namor at my number one. Ever since I saw a gameplay of Namor, I just wanted to play him. I don't know why. I think I could be really good with his tridents. I like the little octopus shooty guys. They're pretty cool. His ult's actually not too bad. You know, it's just a giant whale comes crashing down out of the sky, so that's pretty cool. His shield is eh. It's nothing. The movement with it's weird, but he's got vertical movement so that's that should be interesting and then his right click making the turret shoot quick is pretty fun so that will be very interesting with uh once i get to use that in real games but yeah so he's definitely the character i want to try first and we'll see how it goes so right now he's my number one this could very easily change i'll probably do another tier list in the middle of the play test once i've gotten a few games on every one and then i'll do another one at the end once i've had like maximum time playing everyone and experiencing everything uh storm is pretty cool but very underwhelming i'm kind of disappointed she just feels very lackluster um doesn't feel very impactful doing damage and it's kind of hard to understand what the boosts do like i get they do something it's like lucio but uh i don't know it, she just felt kind of weird her ult's pretty cool it's very strong her attacks in general are pretty fine, but it's just going back and forth between air and electric and, you know, all the stuff it does. It's just, it's a little too confusing for how simple and boring it feels. And again, this is just my opinion on how much I enjoyed playing the character in the, in the firing range and kind of what I'm anticipating playing them. So, you know, this is 
literally my first thoughts and I haven't even played a real game. So, you know, and I'm not saying these characters are good or bad. I'm just saying how much I like them. Um, the final melee character, Black Panther. I do like him more. I like uh, his two movement abilities. You can kind of just go back and forth between enemies. That seems pretty cool. His alt, eh, it's nothing too fun, but I can definitely see its use definitely be hard to hit his his regular attacks are pretty cool too he's got the spear which i don't i don't remember exactly what it does but nothing too crazy iron man we're gonna put him in a he seems pretty cool uh, i like his beam i like his regular shots i like the charged up version of both of them the flying's a little bit hard to get used to but yeah he's got the rot the missiles he fires too which are all right but you have to do them all flying so um and then he's got his ultimate ability which is you know pretty cool i it was pretty fun trying him and magneto i just i i kind of had an idea of what it does and then i shot it and i just saw all the bots explode so that was pretty cool and then star lord our final dps i'm gonna put him in s tier loki seems very fun uh i like that his jump thing reloads his guns you can see an insane amount of potential with that he's got the uh you know shooting all directions thing uh, his ultimate's pretty cool with the lock-on. Nothing too crazy, but good enough to get at least a kill or two, no matter what. And it's not like, it's not hard aimbot. It's like, you still have to be pretty much in the direction they are, just not perfect accuracy. And I think he's got a fly ability, which is probably the easiest uh, movement ability in this game that isn't part of an attack like Black Panther's. Um, his glide is is pretty simple and pretty easy to get so that's pretty nice i didn't want to have too many of the same class in s tier but i feel like i could i could play star lord a lot more than some of the others so i just went ahead and put him in there but i think he's gonna be at the bottom because i already have namor and i already have punisher to play so i don't really see myself playing him over those two and then obviously i'm gonna play venom for tank so supports and of course i'm a support main in overwatch i don't know if that's why i like the support so much or if they're just genuinely that good but we already have a support in s tier with mantis i like i like the way she heals it's very interesting i think she reloads with headshots if i'm correct that's what it felt like uh she she heals pretty quick she's got like uh she's got like the per the perfect 50 50 of damage and healing it feels like and she can very easily go back and forth between those you know just a very solid character her she's got like that seed bomb thing which is pretty cool oh yeah she provides a lot of boosts which is pretty cool um it's gonna be hard to get used to some of those and then her alt is also just a big boost so that's kind of cool not too bad luna snow i would put her above venom she's probably the best dps or not she's either the best dps support or maybe rocket is she is very easy to get dps uh very easy to heal i like that both i guess not both i like that her, she heals by shooting as well her alt's pretty funny i think it's pretty cool she's got the one healing thing doesn't she place something on the ground no she attaches something that heals pretty well the entire time i was playing her i thought she was way too strong both healing and damage so she's gonna be pretty fun to play and uh yeah i'm obviously gonna play support then loki loki i do want to give him a try he seems very cool with his decoys i like that his decoys have those little healing radiuses so that will be very fun to try he's got the shape-shifting alt which is crazy for a support definitely want to give that a try his attacks are pretty good and obviously you can switch positions with the decoy which is Dang, you know could be good could be bad and then he's got the little damage healing revert thing which is pretty interesting and then i didn't notice until i just looked but he has a melee that does more damage from behind so that's pretty cool i definitely want to try him for the decoy stuff not necessarily anything else so um he's definitely mid a tier seems pretty cool rocket We're, rocket i'm gonna put in b and i'm going to put him i'll put him above spider-man i like his attack enough to put him in front of spider-man but I just don't like any of his other abilities. I think his his attack alone, it's he should have just been a DPS. I think he should have been a DPS that can give out armor packs and maybe, you know, maybe give him a few other guns to try or, you know, something like that. I don't like the way he fits his support, but I think he's such a good DPS 
that he's still a solid character that I'll try him out. I just don't really care for his deployable ability things. They seem kind of weird. And then Adam Warlock. His attacks are pretty solid. The regular one, the charged one. His healing will be interesting. I don't know. I, f I can see his, his healing ability of spreading out the damage uh, and heals to the entire team could be pretty detrimental but it could not be i don't really know i don't know what to expect he seems pretty easy to heal and his dps is pretty solid oh yeah but he's got the passive to just come back to life after he dies which is pretty cool and then he his ultimate is to revive so that will be very interesting to see especially because instead of just fully health revives there are gonna be lower health revives so should seem pretty balanced. I haven't seen any gameplay of him. I haven't seen pretty much any gameplay at all. But yeah, so this is the this is the completed tier list. Uh, obviously, things will change in the future, whether it's... Well, I mean, obviously, I'm going to play the game, so it's going to be different. We're going to have Thor. We're going to have the shark. Okay, so it's the day after. Thor and Jeff, the land shark, <laughs> just got added. And I was thinking that they're going to be... Uh, Thor's me tank and Jeff was going to be support, so... I was right about that, but I mean, it's obvious there's so few of those characters. So let's test out Thor. I'm going to go ahead and put Thor in A tier, um, probably ahead of any other tank. Probably actually, he's probably like one or two in my A tier. Um, I can see the combo potential. It seems pretty good. Um, he seems like a better Hulk, obviously. Um, it's cool to see another melee character for tank but yeah i do feel like his dash is a little short i think it should be a little bit longer to give him a little bit more mobility but maybe not maybe it's maybe that'd be too broken but i think he's a pretty solid character uh maybe even s tier i think he's either very low s or very high a you know what? i'll go ahead and put him in s he seems pretty fun uh, i definitely want to try him out he seems better than a lot of the other tanks i've tried so um yeah he's pretty cool Okay, so I'm going to put Jeff in A. I think he's a very clear A because he has very good damage, very good healing. I like the way they look. I like the shooting the water. I'm just going to go ahead and show you. I like I like shooting the water to heal. I think that's very cool. I like his I like his DPS. Like it seems pretty good, especially for a support. Um and he can't heal. He can't heal with the shot and he can't damage with the the blast, so um, then he's got the bubble thing, which is pretty cool. You can shoot it at the ground and give it to him directly, or people can walk over it. Um, he's got movement ability, which is pretty cool, and there's no time limit on it, I don't think. It doesn't look like it. Um, so that's nice. Seems very easy to survive then. He's got a lot of healing, so you don't have to reload pretty quick, it seems like. Um, and then his reload, or his, yeah, his reload is tied into both heals and damage. So I can kind of, you know, I can get them low for my teammates and like, oh no, you guys are low. And then boom. His passive is just he takes less critical hits, which is, you know, whatever. And then I'm still trying to figure out his alt. So I guess if I hold them in, I can probably bring them over to my, like, you know, if it's someone weak, I can bring it over to my teammates and make it easier to kill them. If someone's trying to get away or if it's a tank, do the opposite and bring them away. I don't want to say S tier just because I'm not a huge fan of the alt. I wish it would kind of kill squishies a little bit easier, or do a lot more damage similar to kind of like venom's alt but i think it's pretty solid i'll definitely put him in a i think i think i'd probably want to play luna snow and mantis before i play him just because everyone's gonna be playing jeff right now you know i'm not gonna i'm not gonna put him in s just because it's not something i want to but i definitely like him um he seems pretty fun i think all the supports in this game are pretty great and actually i mean all the characters are pretty great um the only one i don't really like is groot and hulk they're just kind of boring and uh group more than hulk these two characters are pretty solid i mean if they keep adding new characters like this regularly I mean, they've added so many characters just since the closed alpha which is huge so it'll be very interesting to see what the next beta test or the next release will look like and honestly this game is so fully fledged i don't know why they uh should go into a you know a, a, a working period for that long thanks for watching if this is gonna be the outro or if i'm gonna do the other outro then you know wait for them but hope you enjoyed like comment subscribe Take care.